shake one thing and it shakes the whole thing. <laughs> no! Be careful, be very careful. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Uh, I'm making this video because, well, I'm studying at university now and we get a lot of briefs with a lot of projects that are extremely useless. And so what I like to do is try and find ways to combine my university projects and my YouTube content. Fortunately, this semester I'm doing two subjects, one of which is photography for design and the other one is videography and you know storytelling and stuff and it works out perfectly because I recently bought my Sony and so well this is the idea that I came up with. For my photography for design subject the first brief that we have to do is to create a food magazine cover and photograph food. I actually want to kind of push myself with this idea, I want to get a bit creative for the vlog, uh, first and foremost, but also for the for the marks. Actually, no, that's a lie. I just want to do it for the vlog. Um, <laughs> and so I came up with this idea. I was thinking of getting a burger and actually separating the individual layers of the burger and then photographing that. This is the fucking introduction, so let's not explain the whole thing and let's just do it. I've already started drawing out some concepts on this iPad here. This is gonna go into my folio. So I figured I'll just take you guys along the way and uh, we can create some cool shit. So I've already had a look at Pinterest and had a look at what some people have done in regards to food magazine covers. Now, there is a lot of variety that I've found. Some people have done creative work. Some people have done some really minimalistic stuff. Often, uh, I've found that people like to have a really busy magazine cover with a lot of typography, the header, obviously the hero shot of the food. I don't wanna just make some food take a nice photo of it, make sure the lighting's good and just do it. If I wasn't making a video, I probably would have done that, but I wanna get creative so I can wow my teacher and get good grades. No, that's completely a lie. I'm gonna draw up some initial sketches for my portfolio and then once I've got a good idea of what I wanna do, we're gonna head to the supermarket and grab some food. So I've just come home, I'm looking for fishing wire so that I can place the food condiments on top of and then I can easily Photoshop them out. I'm pretty sure I've got fishing wire at home in my garage, so we're gonna have a quick look, uh, making sure to keep a safe distance from the family. So apparently according to dad, the only place that we're gonna have fishing wire is in this little fishing box. Absolutely mint. Clearly haven't done that much fishing recently. There is nothing here. Fuck. Just having a look around the garage here. Haven't found fishing wire, but I found a fishing rod with fishing line on it. I don't really know the difference, but it seems quite, if you can pull up a fish, it can hold some lettuce, surely. And there seems to be a little bit of it. Yeah. So maybe I just steal the fishing rod and make do with that. I reckon that's our best bet at the moment. I reckon we figured this problem out. Hook, line, sink. So the lighting is gonna be super important for this shoot. Luckily, Riley actually recently bought some lights for his streaming. And um, it only took us about three, four days to actually break one of the globes. Uh, I ordered him a new one. I've got it right here. We've actually got two of these and it's gonna be fantastic for the actual shoot because we get to control where the light's coming from and uh, what kind of highlights we get. Hopefully we can try keep it as consistent as possible. It is also a part of the uni criteria to experiment with lighting. So I'm really happy that I've got these because um, I have a lot of control over this kind of stuff. So I've just plugged it in now. Let's see if it works. What do you reckon? Fuck. <laughs> Alright, that didn't work. Alright, we'll, we'll figure this one out. One way or another. Where, oh, 
That would make a lot of sense. Three, two, one. Fuck. I'm Jesus. Mint. Fuck yeah, we got light, baby. All right, so we are ready and set up. Everything is here. We've got the tripods, the fishing wire, we've got the food, we've even got a light bar, the extension cords, the lighting equipment. We've got the pan, gotta do some cooking, don't forget about that. And uh, yeah, I'm really keen. I'm thinking of shooting over in a plane background, so it makes it really easy to uh, Photoshop out the wire. And yeah, 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 that's about it. That's pretty much it. I just need to execute now. Let's get into it. This is what, how we're planning on doing it. We're planning on having fishing wire come across two tripods. We're gonna place the condiments on different layers. Condiments or ingredients? Ingredients, food. I've been calling them condiments for this whole vlog, so leave it, <laughs> leave it at that. All right, we're gonna say condiments. Cheese is now a condiment. We don't have any idea of how this is gonna work, so it's gonna be more of a trial and error kind of thing. We also don't have a lot of time, so. Yeah, so one thing I've noticed already is we need to close the gap of these fishing wire things because if the gap's too big, the ingredients aren't gonna be able to balance on it. We'll test it out now. Whoa, no, yeah! No, okay, it sort of worked, but it needs to be thinner, you know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely needs to be thinner. We yeah, could also use a third string to come on this back end. Yeah, let's do that. We might actually need some weight for the tripod so that when we balance all the food on it, they don't just collapse. I reckon, first things first, let's put the fishing wire on all the different layers first. Done. And we can move them up and down if we need to. This is the setup. I've got a fishing rod and we're gonna cut pieces and just put it up. Putting together this, I don't know, structure, we've realized that when you put the bread on top of the wires, it actually gives, like it comes down a lot. And so we're thinking, how do we prevent that? If we shorten it, it'll be a lot more stronger. Right now, there's way too much wire, and it's just, when you put something on it, it just dips down, and it's not stable at all. Test two. I think maybe just like, oh, it's still very loose. So we can balance it. There, hey. It works. So like from that angle, that's floating. Now we've got to get five more of these, bro. This is definitely harder than I expected. <laughs> we can do it though. Mm. Thinking B-roll, thinking B-roll, thinking B-roll. So we've got all of our layers ready on the tripod. It's looking pretty strong. There are ways to make the fishing line stronger if need be. It is now time to cook the food. We've got the pan heating up. I'm gonna look after the lettuce and yeah, we're gonna start piecing it together. So today we're gonna to be shooting with the 85 millimeter. We're also gonna experiment with the 24 to 70. All I'm looking for is that really sharp compression, hence why we're going for that 85 millimeter. What is it? It's a 85 1.4. 1.4, 1.4. Oh, that is not tight at all. That back one, this needs to be tight and bro. one thing and it shakes the whole thing. It's all about balancing it correctly. Alright. Oh. Ready? Oh! Yeah. It's like 
hectic burger. Shit. Yes! It doesn't really make sense, but it's fucking it creative. It doesn't make sense, but we did it. Like, why would you put flour on your burger, but... You don't. You art, just don't. Art isn't meant to make sense. Bro. Uh, I'm happy with that. Yes. And there you go. We did it. We actually made this burger float. It was really hard to do. I'm not going to lie. I was surprised at how difficult it was, but we did it. Thank you to Liam and Riley for helping me execute. I genuinely couldn't have done it without those boys. In terms of the photos, Riley actually helped me get some more photos after that photo shoot that I've just shown you guys. And we experimented with some vape uh, and some light bar lighting. So we got some cool colors involved um, and a cool misty effect. One of the photos I actually chose to put as my magazine cover. So these are all of the photos that I ended up taking that I really liked. This uh, are them edited. And this is the photo that I decided to go with just because I liked how the smoke was balanced. It didn't attract too much attention, but it also uh, provided a nice little element uh, in the background. I then did a little bit of painting in Lightroom again to make the background a little bit cooler. And once I finished that and was happy with it, I took the image into Adobe Illustrator and played around with a bit of sans serif and serif typefaces. Um, I named this magazine cover The Creative Kitchen, who would have guessed? And yeah, I wanted to stick to a more minimal and simplistic approach. I was thinking about putting Jamie Oliver bullshit on the left and right hand side, but I just really wanted to stick with something simple. Gave it a clean border. I think it looks great. Um, and then I submitted it yesterday. If you want to see the actual PDF that I did submit, I'm going to leave a link in the description for anyone that does care or might be thinking about studying graphic design. Uh, you can actually have a look at how we structure um, our PDFs. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I have enjoyed putting this video together somewhat. I'm balancing a lot of things right now. Um, and so it is hard to get content out. I've got the website coming along, uh, freelance work and obviously uni work. But other than that, uh, I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this creative little video. I enjoyed creating it. And um, yeah, for anyone in Melbourne, uh, I hope you guys are staying safe and well, or anyone else in the world affected by the virus. Make sure you're checking in on your friends, your family, you know, uh, a little call saying hello, how you're going goes a long way. And with that all said and done guys, uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>